I'm here with baby Lizzie and we're gonna get her out of this little cherry fit um, I'm doing something that I don't normally do but um, as I told you guys before I've just gotten to the point where it's like why leave the stuff that the artists send with them in the little plastic bag forever for it to get old and dry rot <laughs> um, we spend too much money for us not to use it well I don't know some things probably won't ever get used sorry that was a piece of my hair not hers and um but I'm just I don't know I've just been feeling like doing that especially with the babies that like I said I have no intentions on selling now some that I'm not sure or I may keep for a while and may decide to sell to upgrade later you know then I would probably not bother their originals um, because people are so picky and they want the originals when you sell these type of babies but um I had a question from Lil Shug Nur uh, Shug's Nursery um, in regards to uh, selling um, your own work, like reborns. Like a lot of us has been, you know, practicing and trying to reborn ourselves and stuff like that. And at what point do you think your work is good enough to sell? Mm, that's a hard question because I think for most of us, uh, we're going to be very critical of ourselves I know I am and um, so therefore um, she came with this little onesie and it's embroidered I don't know you guys probably can't see it there it is and it has Gabby Gale on there and I'm debating if I want to put that back on I don't think I want to put that back on because she has on a onesie and that's fine because she's just gonna put her gown back on so I'm putting back on her stuff that she came in but I won't put back on her onesie because she already got on the onesie and I'm gonna change her diaper to the diapers that she came with let's see you guys may or may not be able to see that but anyway um well what happens is you practice on all these babies and you paint this kit, and then that kit, and then this kit, and that kit. Then what do you do with all the kits? I mean, some of them, yeah, you know you better not try to put that out there. But then some of them you're like, you think are maybe not that great. Somebody else might, you know, benefit off of having it. And these dolls are so expensive. I mean, it's like a way to allowing some people that can't afford the, um, you know, the really high-end um, dolls or whatever. Um, so I say, you know, I was like, mm -mm, I can't do it, you know, plus, you know, I just didn't want to deal with the people and, you know, stuff like that or whatever. But I feel like this, if you're honest and you just say, Hey, this is what I think is wrong with the doll. This is what I did not like about my work or whatever. Um, but here it is. Um, and you don't put a crazy price tag on it, you should be okay. Now, um, she was saying how, you know, people pay, let's say, you know, $200, $300, and they want expecting a $800 paint job. Well, that's their problem. Um, not to sound mean or anything, but, I mean, if you've been around long enough to know, um, it's very rare that you get lucky and get a thousand dollar doll for two hundred dollars. Um, it's got to be probably like a friend or something like that. Um, and every now and then you might, you know, because like I said, when people be very critical of their work, they may think it's worse than what it is and it might be, you know, a, a charmer for you um, but you know as long as you've done your part and you've said this is not a perfect baby blah 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 
and they you know they still buy it you can't um you know feel bad you know if you know if they come on and they say oh i hate the doll or whatever you know and i mean you could take whatever the feedback is that they give you to improve the next doll um but um when i me as a collector when i hear things about new artists and they're like really new and i've seen them you know tell people they're new and all that stuff and someone says something about their work i don't really hold it against the the person who painted the doll because um i feel like the person that was buying should have you know considered the fact that they were new they told them they were new and you know that's that um and especially if the price is really low because then that's why they priced it low because they knew that it wasn't you know a perfect uh doll sorry guys i've been rooting all morning and i got a little hair on her outfit but um dang i said i was gonna put powder in her diaper i never put powder in my baby's diapers but i was like i should put powder in her diaper I see people doing it and I'm thinking that shit probably smells so good and I never do it. I'm going to do it. This is like a big deal for me to put powder in my baby's diapers on a cloth body because I'm so funny about my dolls. <laughs> I don't want powder on their cloth but I'm going to try this out for the smell. I love lavender. Just a little. Let's put just a little. I just want the baby smell. I'm going to rub mine in the diaper so that in hopes it don't really get on the cloth of the, the baby. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> but um, I could even put a little on her onesie right here. And that would give the smell but not be on her cloth. I'm just gonna put just a little. But um, but yeah, so I mean, and then sometimes people do stuff just to be cruel. So I mean, you know, you you gotta consider the source, you gotta, you know, pay attention. I mean, I've had people lie on me before. I've had people resurface old lies, you know, if they thought they could try to damage me they make up lies and stuff like that but I don't I don't I don't concentrate on that stuff so um Lucia my thing is is that if you feel confident with your work and you like your work and you feel like it's worthy to sell then you know what sell it because these kits aren't cheap and if you want to keep painting and learning you got to be able to replace those kits. So that's my whole thing too. And then I do, you know, I've like to do, you know, some giveaways here and there, but I can't keep doing that if I never, you know, get any money to replace all the money that I spent out on kits and supplies because I don't, I know it's places where you can buy glass beads and stuff from other places and stuff like that. But I buy all my glass beads from Bountiful Baby. My magnets, everything pretty much supply-wise come from Bountiful Baby except for my cluster stuff. I use some really good stuff that I got from um, uh, Walmart. So, um, yeah, I don't... So I use, you know, quality stuff in my dolls and that stuff adds up. So, yeah. Look at her. Did she come with any? She might have came with socks, but uh, she don't have. I'm not going to put her on any socks because I don't want her any socks. But that's the pacifier that she came with. And it's blue. I'm going to see if I can. 
you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. So that, um, I think my darlings are her. You can see her natural color. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, selling is hard. You know, you, you worry, especially when it's your work. I feel better when I'm selling somebody else's work, but when it's my work, I'm like, you know, oof, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking, but you know what? It's the only way I can keep doing it. So I say go for it. Um, just disclose, you know, like I've, you know, sold dolls and I'm like, the rooting isn't great, you know, hey, this is this, and then, you know, or this baby has this, or this baby has that, but so far so good, the mommy's got their babies, and um, a few of them um, has asked for second babies, so that's a good sign. Um, one of the mommies that had seen my work actually came and bought another one for, from me, so, and she's considering a third baby from me, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then, uh, then my other, um, friend, I don't know if she wants me to say who she is, but who has, yeah, uh, Abigail, um, she wanted to, um, she wants to get some more, you know, in that price range. So I like keeping them low like that too, because that helps other people. And I, I honestly don't care, um, what if they don't keep it or whatever but you know what it helps me be able to buy new kits so there it is um i want to show you guys uh, something really soon but i gotta end this video we'll talk later